event this weekend will recognize companies, products, and professionals who have demonstrated excellence in the local manufacturing industry. We're talking about the Taste Awards by the Hawaii Food Manufacturers Association. Joining me now to talk more about it is Chef James Aptekin, Executive Chef at Turtle Bay Resort. Good morning. Welcome. Oh, no. I know you're busy working on this. Um, I'll ask you goodness. about that later because I know you're busy. But first of all, what is the Hawaii Food Manufacturers Association? Uh, it's champions by by local it matters and it celebrates the uh, awards of the manufacturers but the best part is the battle of the chefs that's why we're here we got camaraderie we're, we're building the momentum up mm -hmm. and it's about thinking out of the box with their products and championing and challenging us to come up with extraordinary things you will never ever have and it's kind of like a once-in-a-lifetime thing it is and so what are you making this morning this is out of the box thinking there's a Vietnamese roll mm -hmm. and it's a dipless and let me explain what that is okay. and this is not your traditional we're using a little bit of Mari's Garden, so we got nasturtium leaves in there. We got the Kona lobster, a little bit of Ogo, and we got these pea sprouts. Very unconditional so far, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it has a pop. So what I did was I took these tapioca pearls, and I took this 4J salts. And normally you do the veg, I mean the noodles, right? Right. Well, and this usually has you see the tapioca pearls in desserts. Yes. Right? So okay. what we did, we went savory. So this is uh, almost like the sea foam, right? But right. it has the black. It, instead of black squid ink, we did the black sea salt. So that adds a texture. We used up Big Island hearts of palm, which are part of this, which is amazing. And then I like to go crunch texture. See, everything I do, presentation, pop, color, mm -hmm. flavor. So that gives you the crunch instead of putting the nuts. So you don't have to worry about if anybody's allergic or not. Right. Got these beautiful candy striped beets. Look at the color so far. Just crazy, right? Right. And, um, and then now I like to stay traditional. Put your basil, your cilantro, your mint. Okay. And once we roll that up like this, this is where the magic happens. That's packed. Tuck it in. And it's not going to fall out or not anything. Gonna I mean, it's out. like sealed so tight. Right now, I'm doing a love note. A and love note. Before I do that, I'm going to seal it with a kiss. <laughs> We're going to put that beautiful ahi there. And this is where we go crazy with our beautiful edible flowers because you're going to actually see that presentation. And what I mean by that is look at this. Wow. When you roll that up, look how gorgeous that is. Now, I got a little trick for you. Okay. And then talk about the Taste Awards. It's coming up soon, and everyone's invited, right? Everybody's mm -hmm. invited, open to the public. Mm -hmm. um, this is where it gets a little crazy. Us chefs think out of the box. This is a little tokidashi. You just take this like this. And have you ever seen a roll that you torch? No. Okay, this okay. is where you don't do this at home, by the way. And, by doing, back here. and okay. by doing this, what it does is it shrink wraps the ends in here. You see that? Ah, it makes it a little bit crunchy on the outside. Crunchy on the outside, okay. you get that blistery effect. Gorgeous, right? Love it. And here's the best part. This is a Aloha Shoyu mm -hmm. and Ponzu jelly. So we put that inside. So technically, and usually what we would do is we would dip the roll, or we'd do this and inject it. And let me just show inject you what I mean. Inject it with that. And usually we usually dip something like this in a kind of a hoisin mix, but there's no hoisin in look here. At, look at the color right? of that. Look how crazy that is. That is. So you could do this and inject a, mm -hmm. that ponzu aloha. And it's neater and this have way. That flavor, it's not and messy it's neater at all. that way. Mm -hmm. Or you could do the ponzu aloha show you jelly. Okay. And I like to do that because it's an out-of-the-box thinking. So now when people eat it, they're like, oh, my God, that is unique and different. Right. It's got the spicy, crunchy, umami pop. And here's the best part. Um, we have these edible aloha. We have the Big Island bees. We got the um, Big Island hearts of palm. You got so many things that the chefs can actually play with. Mm -hmm. We get creative and take something ordinary and just make it extraordinary. Right. It is beautiful. And again, the Taste Awards recognize individuals, companies, and products that have demonstrated exceptional performance and innovation. It will be held this Saturday at 6 p.m. at Dole Cannery, and everyone's invited. Chef, thank you so much for being here and for waking up so early and providing this colorful role for us. Thank you. All Some right. people have coffee, which is part of the Hawaii Foods Manufacturing Association, or you could do this. Or both. Or both. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Chef. <laughs> well, coming up next, the 10